playthroughs and stuff because it seems like a lot of fun to do. So I'm going to start doing that, give you guys a lot of content, tell me what you want to see, and I'll do anything, really. I can play about any classic game now. Pretty soon I'll get the PS2 working. I mean, not PS2. Pretty soon I'll try to get a PS2. We can get some PS2 games going on here. But um, this game is mainly split into three parts. Crash, and then Crash 2, I think, and then Crash 3 Warped. Well, the third game is a lot different than these because it's it's varied by choice because the levels are really different. As you can see right here, I'm riding on a hog. So the game isn't you just running around all the time. It does have changes. And that's what makes this game kind of addicting. And it makes you want to go back. To, wow, I can't believe I just missed that line. It makes you want to go back and play some more of it just so you can get the box gems and stuff. But, um... This game features a decent challenge, and back then this was probably one of my favorite games for the PlayStation 1, and probably one of my favorite games of all time, because you can just sit down with friends and play, and just go level by level, and just try to get 100%, get the box gems and stuff, but that's what this game is really about, is just that kind of stuff, and a lot of people don't think of it as... Well, a lot of people don't think games anymore. It's just multiplayer online, but... Oh, I, c I keep forgetting I go to the right side. <laughs> that Back then, multiplayer with your friends was a lot of fun. You know, have a few buddies over, put in a game and play it, you know. used to be a lot of fun. Now it's all online stuff. I really am getting sick of multiplayer online. It's really losing its touch. Because all it is, like, player versus player. You just can't, like do anything really can't because I like co-op games because co-op games are amazingly fun compared to some and they should really start trying to make some more co-op games and trying to drop this stupid bull bullshit act of like trying to make um go first person shooters even though that's what the consumer even though that's what the consumers want but still, there's a bigger franchise out there. This is one of my hardest levels. Just because when you play on a keyboard, these boxes and your jumping times are so hard to do. So I'm just going to rush through this level just so I can get to the hardest part, which I just fail at. So, But the PlayStation 1 was one of my favorite systems of all time. But my favorite is definitely the PS2. That system was amazing. It featured a good online if you wanted to play multiplayer. It had a great variety of games. And the games were just so much fun and addicting. They just had a lot of styles. One of my favorite PlayStation 2 games is definitely one of the... Is a still a decent franchise nowadays, and that's Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank was really amazing. And I think they could just keep doing more. Okay, now what I gotta do here, basically, is I gotta try to get on these. But this is very hard on this keyboard, so. Here we go. Just gotta make sure I get a good jump. It's very hard to do on this keyboard because of, uh, it's not a controller. And this game was built with a controller, so when you switch to a keyboard, it's really interesting to see how hard it is, actually. Fucking monkey. Now, um, as you can see, it's not a bad side-scroller, either, because they did a lot of just classic gaming with this one. Just gonna get the life and then spin that guy. Spin the flowers. And basically, this is what you do the whole game, but the levels change. You're not always in like in the jungle and stuff like that. They change. The third one was probably the most um, challenging and one of the most exciting games com in the Crash series. I mean, back then games didn't get worse because of oh what the fuck. Games get games didn't get worse like they do now. You make a sequel to a game, and most of the time it's worse because of the changing of like the studios and stuff but 
In this, they just took what everyone wanted. I can't believe I'm doing that bad. They took what everyone wanted and they just added on to it. Even though the vehicle levels did get kind of dragged on. And they could have taken less of those out. But whatever. It worked. Jump. Boom. Boom. There you go. And uh, this game features like hazards and stuff. Like I don't know if nitro's in it. <laughs> I don't know if nitro's in this game. Here's my opinion: one of the hardest points in the game. Oh wait, gotta do this. The bonus round first. But why is this hard to me? Because of the. F oh my god! Because of the keyboard. Because when you play games nowadays, you like hit maybe W and A to like uh move around like to go what do you call that I don't know like certain degrees but not to go straight but left straight you know what I'm saying you should but um in this if you do I'm not used to that so I have to stop pressing the buttons so I can get a good jump so here we go I gotta get a good jump here here we go here's the first one gotta get my good jump again let me just get around gotta charge my jump just right and I think I can do it I just got one more Oh, there's a Humanaga there. Oh, I don't need it. Don't need the Humanaga. Oh, yeah. Get up there. Booyah. It literally took me like 30 tries because I recorded this yesterday, too. But it was really just a little lame because I was like tired. Oh, God. Because I was like tired. So it was really. Wow, really? Come on. Look at that. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't like the keyboard at all. Oh, my God. Imagine if they made this for, like, computer games. I mean, not computer games, for the computer. So, anyways, this is going to be probably part two, part... This is probably going to be part one, part two, and part three, actually. What? I jumped over him. What is that? Oh, bug or something. But, uh, I'm not going to edit these in any way. Like, they're just going to be going in raw footage. Just... I'll get the editing in eventually, but right now I don't want to. Let me see the pattern. So you want to jump now? Oh, come on. Oh, just got it. No, 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 no. This is going to be hard. Oh, come on. No! Come on, Bolt. That was bullshit. This level's hard. Wow. It's like the last level of the first island. Which I don't know why they couldn't just put the I like the last level of the island is like a boss and not someone like Papu Papu because this level's harder than Papu Papu. And Papu Papu was a terrible boss and I think one of the easiest bosses of all time. I mean you just you just sit there jumping on him and die. One of the hardest bosses though is Enjin. If you, pl not not the second engine, but whatever the one where he's in the plane, or maybe it is the second one, I don't know, but oh my god. The plane levels on, on Crash 3, and that engine is like a, a pain in the ass. He is like annoying as hell. But anyways, this is one of my favorite games because it introduces one of my favorite characters, and that's Embryo. Embryo is so cool. But he... They completely ripped um what Embryo does away. Like, oh no no. Oh my god. See, I keep trying to spin. You know what I mean? Whatever. I'm get. But whatever. I'm getting close to dying, so I gotta straighten up here. A little slow. Flame jump. I'm not the best crash player, like I said. And when I'm talking, I can't really concentrate. Okay, that was stupid. I have zero lives now. So there's one choice to do here. We gotta do this slow. Up on his head, spin, okay, wait. 